Hello my YouTube friends, today I want to show you a plugin for OBS that's been used by professional live broadcasters for years. It allows you to have a set of assets in OBS that you can put over top of any scene that you're in. Now this feature is used by sports and news channels to put the ticker in the bottom of any screen that they're using. And it's now available in OBS and it's really easy to set up and use. And by the way, it's totally free. So you know what? Let's get to to it! Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, please do. This really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. The name of this plugin is Downstream Keyer. And the first thing we need to do is install it. So to install this, we're going to go to this page right here and we're going to click the download button. Now the links to this are in the description. You can see that we have a Windows install and a Windows install Linux and Mac OS. We're gonna use the Windows installer. Pretty sure this Windows zip is just the files to put in the folder. It's a lot easier to just use the installer, so we're gonna download that. And once it's downloaded, we're just gonna go into our downloads folder. And I'm gonna right click and extract all. And it extracts it. We can just go into the folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the downstream keyer installer. I'm gonna click on more info and then run anyway. Then you wanna verify that it is the proper location for your OBS. If it is not, go ahead and click browse and go to it. Yours is probably located in C, program files, and then it will be OBS-Studio, like you see there, OBS-Studio. Mine is actually E backslash OBS-Studio, so I'm gonna leave it there. Click next, and we can call it whatever we want. Next, and install, and finish. And now, downstream keyer is installed in our OBS. It's awesome. Now all that's left is to set it up. Here we are in OBS and I'm gonna do this on my normal live stream because I have a bunch of stuff that I wanna add. And I wanna show you how this allows you to add pretty much whatever you want over top of all the existing scenes. And if we look here, I have a lot of existing scenes. So what if I had something that I just wanted to add over top so that I could add it to any scene at any time that I want to. Well, we're gonna go up here to Docs and we're gonna go to the downstream keyer and boom, it just pops it right here. I could just drop it over here and now it's actually in there. So it has one tab and I can click this to add or remove tabs, we can change transitions, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. We're gonna go ahead and click the plus button down here. We're just add to disk one, and I'm pretty sure we can rename that. So let's just call this wheel of blame, because that's what I'm gonna add here. All right, and we'll click okay. Now the wheel of blame is just something fun and silly we do on my live stream, but I like to be able to use it in any scene in my live stream. And it has a lot of elements that I don't really wanna have to add in every live stream or create a nested scene where then I have to add it into the scenes that I wanna use it. This makes it really easy to use in any scene that I want. So here's how this works. We're gonna go and we're gonna click the plus under scenes and I'm gonna add a wheel of blame scene and we'll just call this MFJ and click okay. Now I'm gonna click the plus under sources and I'm gonna go to media source and I'm just gonna call this basically the same thing and just add vid after it because it is the video for that. Then I'm going to browse to the source of that asset right there and click okay. So now we have our scene created. All we have to do is make sure that scene is selected and we're gonna go over here to our downstream keyer and we're gonna click this plus to add that scene in there. Now let's create another one. So I'm gonna click the plus under scenes and I'm just gonna name this one up according to the next file we have here and click okay. And I'm gonna click the plus under sources, go to media source, add WOB with the same name and vid after it and click okay. Then I just need to browse and find that file and click open and then okay. And now we have two of these set up. All I need to do is click the plus under downstream keyer, add this next one in there. Now I can switch to any scene and when I just click one of these in the downstream keyer, it's gonna bring those assets up right over top of the actual scene. It's really awesome. 
and all I have to do is click pause to make it disappear. And the best part is, that's for any scene. So I can go over here to my tutorial scene and needless to say, I don't have a tutorial going on right now. But if I click any of these, well, it's just going to play right over top of the entire scene. It's awesome. I just quickly added the rest and it's awesome because I can just click on any one of them and it will appear on any screen that I'm on and then I can just click the pause and make it go away. So let me show you how you could do this with lower thirds that you can create right here in OBS. I'm gonna click the plus down here and we'll just call this lower third for now. We can come up with a more creative name and I'm just going to click the plus to add a source and we'll go ahead and add text GDI and we'll call this lower third text and I'm just going to write my name in here. We'll go to select font and we'll select the font that we want. We can adjust our font size if we like, but I think that's big enough. So I'm just going to click OK. Then I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to add a gradient to the text. So I'm going to select my main color. We'll select this light blue. Then on the second color, we'll select this dull yellow. And that looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is add an outline. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, click outline, make it a little bit larger and change the color to black. And that's good. That's the text I'm looking for. I'm just going to move it down here into the bottom left hand corner. And all we need to do now is go up here to our downstream keyer. And I'm going to click on the properties window and add and I'm going to add a new tab. We're going to call this one lower thirds and click OK. That adds another tab. I'll just select it. Now I just need to go down here and click the plus to add our lower third scene into the lower third downstream keyer tab. Now if we wanted to have the lower third come on, we just click on it and it comes up and we can go ahead and click pause and it goes away. So we'll go over to our tutorial scene here and we can just click on our lower third and it will appear. Now, what if we wanted this to have some sort of a transition? Well, we can go up into the thing here and we can go with a show transition. So we'll go down here to transitions and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a slide. Let's call this slide one and let's see. We want slide to come from right to left. There we go. Okay. And we're going to add another transition and we'll call this slide two. And this one is going to go from left to right. I like that. Okay. So now we can select our lower third here. We'll go into properties, we'll go to show transition and we'll use slide one. And we'll go to hide transition and we'll use slide two. So now when we click the pause, it slides out to the left. When we actually click it, it slides in really, really awesome. So the best part is that's going to stay there even when we switch scenes. See, we can switch scenes. The only thing that moves it is this. So we can have regular transitions on all of our scenes as well. Let's use our regular transition on our main scene. And you can see that the regular transition goes, but our lower third will actually stay there until we click the pause and remove it. So you can have lower thirds for guests or whoever you want. You can place them wherever you want. You can add any transition you want and you don't have to create them in every scene. You can just create a tab up here in the downstream keyer and add them and remove them anytime you want. This is just awesome for little slides or things that you want to add to any scene. It can be a video, it can be text, it can be just an image, whatever you want. You can create goofy memes, add them all as scenes, and then kind of click them over here in your downstream keyer anytime you want to bring them up. It's this tool is so awesome. I mean, this is what professionals use to put the bar at the bottom of the screen and they can just click their downstream keyer to put new overlays over top of it or whatever they want anytime they want. And so it works really well. And as you can see, I love it. Now, what if we wanted to add a hotkey to this? Well, that's really simple. We'll go into settings and we're going to go to our hotkeys and we just need to go to the specific hotkey that we're talking about. So in this case, probably lower third right here. And you can see it hide lower third, show lower third. And that's where we wanna be uh, looking at it. Right here, the show on lower third. So we'll just uh, put a comma in here and we'll put a period in here and we'll click apply and okay. And when I click the comma button, there it is. When I click the period button, 
there it is. Turns it on and off. You can use your Stream Deck or Leoran board or whatever you want to set up hotkeys to make something like this work anytime over any scene. It's awesome. Super cool. There is so much that you can do with the downstream keyer. If you want to see how to create a professional looking overlay for your stream, you should check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links in the description below under sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.